Right now, Virginia Task Force 2 is getting some well-deserved rest. Yeah, the team returned from Puerto Rico early this morning, and we showed you some of the pictures as the crew has helped with rescue efforts after Hurricane Maria devastated the island. 13 News Now was the only station at the homecoming. Elise Brown has the story. A warm embrace after a chilling few days. Hey, a lot of folks lost everything. The houses covered in mud. Within the past month, islands across the Caribbean were hit by storms in waves. First Harvey, then Irma, and Maria. Virginia Task Force 2, not in Puerto Rico once, but twice. This time for Maria, hitting the island as a Category 4 hurricane. And within 36 hours, we were back on an airplane going back to San Juan. Assistant Task Force Leader Michael Baraki says once in Puerto Rico, they hunkered down. After the storm, the team went from city to city asking what supplies were needed. Most of it was tarps, diesel for the generators, the hospitals needed diesel. All the while, the team posted gut-wrenching photos like this one, two homes halfway in the ocean. The task force's main mission, search and rescue. They helped 51 people and evacuated 18. In the city of Toa Baja, water was as high as eight feet. Captain, we were searching this neighborhood in a grid search pattern with the boats because everything was flooded. Once we got in there, we found an elderly couple. Tracy Freeman says they got the couple to safety. Overall, going to just over 2,000 structures. Task force engineers also inspected a dam where thousands who lived nearby were forced to evacuate. They also connected people once thought missing with loved ones. Yeah, this is a big deal. When you make contact with somebody by satellite phone and say, I'm calling on behalf of Bob and he's okay, the reaction on the other side of the phone is unbelievable. A feeling that makes the job all that more worth it. In Virginia Beach, Elise Brown, 13 News Now.